hello students now we are going to talk about uh, the types of folds uh, figure 1.5 page 4 so the different types of folds that's what i was uh, referring to that is uh, symmetrical the axial plane is vertical limbs are inclined uh, this is an activity wherein you have to match the characteristics what you are learning with the diagrams which have been shown with all the folds which have been given below limbs are inclined at same angle asymmetrical the axial plane is inclined the limbs are inclined at different angles overturned one limb lies below the other limb limbs slope unequally in the same direction recumbent axial plane is almost horizontal one limb lies over the other in horizontal right direction isoclinical now here uh, the limb slope in the same direction with some amount with same amount sorry the axial plane may be vertical inclined or horizontal slope of some portion of limbs is mean and vertical what did we learn in the diagram what was told to us that the sides of a fold are called limbs you have to understand that the plane which divides a fold into two parts is the axial plane it can be vertical or inclined or horizontal and when there is downward elevation it is syncline when there is upward elevation this is anticline so we are going to try and i have got some slides which can show you all how you can relate more so the characteristics some more character characteristics are there and you can solve this so let's come to uh, over thrust fold now this is another fold which is not there in your this but it's information it's another kind of fold it is extremely powerful compressional forces which causes recumbent fold to fracture now this causes the recumbent fold to fracture the upper part of the recumbent fold thrust forward along the plane of fracture now we are going to learn about the thrust for now what is a thrust fault in the later slides what is a thrust also i have told you what it exactly means now symmetrical folds you look at the limbs left and right there is an anticline when the compression is too intensive the land gets folded into gentle simple folds which is called symmetrical folds here both sides are equally bent so when you are going to solve the diagram the diagram in figure 1.5 you all can take these characteristics and you all can understand which falls into the symmetrical or asymmetrical i repeat when the compression is too intensive the land gets folded into gentle simple folds called symmetrical folds asymmetrical look at the limbs they are inclined when the compressional forces is more from one end and one limb becomes steeper than the other steeper is almost perpendicular or else you can say they rise and fall sharply that is what we mean about steepness so suppose mountaineers are going at an angle they it's quite steep flight of stairs it's steep so that is steepness you look at the axis the axis is what divides the two planes okay so try to relate that with the figure 1.5 in the diagrams and understand when the compressional force is more from one end one limb becomes steeper than the other such a fold is called asymmetrical fold recumbent fold look at the fold recumbent fold when one side of the fold is pushed over the other side of the landform it is called over fold it's over the other fold so it's recumbent when one side is pushed so much that it lies positioned over the other side such a fold is called recumbent fold now when i am talking about recumbent fold 
in your uh, explanation where the characteristics are given recumbent pole what is it saying it is almost horizontal axial plane is almost horizontal one limb lies over the other in horizontal direction so this is recumbent fold look at the overthrust folds now when we talk about overthrust folds over here due to excessive folding when you look at the figure you see the thrust where it is a fracture is formed one side of the fold one side of the fold slides forward over this fault over this fault sorry this is called overthrust fold the portion which slides forward is called nape now this is not there in your types of folds but you can take it as another kind it's some extra information that you'll have the portion which slides forward is called a nape so what happens in the diagram you can actually see that the fold slides move forward over a fault this is called overthrust fold now what are the characteristics of fold mountains when we talk about characteristics of fold mountains how do we understand what are they a fold mountain is characterized by peaks and valleys the tops of anticlines what are anticlines again i repeat they are what are the anticlines the anticlines are when the central portion gets raised up it is called anticlines they become the peaks and the synclines we just got to know about the valleys form the synclines so the synclines become the valleys if you look at the valley and if you see the synclines there's a lot of resemblance because the central part located is at a lower elevation which is called the synclines the fold mountain system has parallel ranges intermountain plateaus may be found between high ranges this system has a large number of swift flowing rivers the swiftly flowing rivers there are lot of waterfalls and rapids this region is a region of glacier activities glaciers are formed can be seen or formed so this region is basically a region of glacier activities because when we were talking about fold mountains think of the himalayas the alps you can see a lot of glaciers or glaciers uh, there alps rockies and hills so it is region of glacier activities this is a region of sudden forces such as volcanoes and earthquakes so over here volcanoes and earthquakes uh these are the sudden moments which take place over here so if a question arises write a few characteristics looking at these folds write a few characteristics about fold mountains you all can take this as some part of information so in brief what we say there are peaks and valleys peaks are anticlines valleys are synclines they have parallel ranges you can find plateaus in between the high ranges you will find waterfalls you will find flowing rivers you will find uh, rapids between them lot of glacial uh, and glacier activities are there this region is of sudden forces where in sudden movements of forces are there which are volcanoes and earthquakes now what are the types and other few types of folds overturned folds overturned folds is one in which the axial plane axial plane is again which divides into two equal parts two parts sorry inclined and one limb is turned past the vertical if the compression is more pronounced from one direction an overturned flow may occur and now in our textbook page 4 what is overturned over here two characteristics are given one limb lies above the other limb and one uh, axial plane is almost no the limb slope unequally in the same direction 
they are unequally distributed the limbs slope unequally so both limbs dip in same direction but one limb has been tilted beyond p vertical look at these again symmetrical if you look at the figure a what is it saying it's open symmetrical wherein the axial plane is vertical limbs are inclined at the same angle both the limbs are inclined at the same angle asymmetrical if you look at it the axial plane is inclined but the limbs are inclined at different angles if you look at overturn one limb lies above the other limb look at figure c one limb lies over the other limb above the other limb limb slope unequally the combined axial plane is almost horizontal it's almost horizontal one limb lies over the other in horizontal direction look at the figure and understand the characteristics i have kept this so that you can relate to the characteristics isoclinical what are these the limb slope in the same direction with same amount same amount also in the same direction axial plane may be vertical inclined or horizontal so it can be all three ways slope of some portion of limbs is near vertical the slope is near vertical now when you look at these you will understand you will be able to solve all of these in your own in your own way and uh, that's how we will understand what exactly types of folds and folding a uh, fold mountains mean now faulting we've come to the new topic that's faulting what is faulting in the earth's crust the forces operating in opposite direction lead to tension we've seen tension they move apart i said so they are moving against each other and moving away opposite direction as a result rocks develop cracks and fissures they develop cracks and fissures in this region where cracks develop rocks get displaced in this region where cracks develop the rocks get displaced such displacement can be upward downward or horizontal moving up moving down or it can be in the horizontal direction now faulting can be classified according to displacement in rocks how can we judge faulting or how can we classify faulting according to their displacement so i i had shown you all how those certain displacements take place also there was a figure which was displaying that rock layers that are near the earth's surface and not under high pressure high confining pressure are too rigid too rigid means they are too tight to bend into folds i repeat this rock layers that are near the earth's surface and not under high confining pressures are too rigid too tight to bend into folds too strong they will not bend into folds or they will not folding won't take place we have seen that uh, folding basically um, soft and elastic rocks are affected by these forces so we are aware of that and the force folding takes place only when the rocks are ductile or flexible if the tectonic force is large enough these rocks will break rather than bend so in compressional force or folding they bend over here they break such breaks when they break may be called fractures ruptures or faults so another name for um, fractures ruptures is fault also or the breaking off is called faults also the rock masses will move relative to each other along the fracture or they will move that is towards the zone where they break they will move towards the zone where they break one part of rock strata again in the last lecture i said what is rock strata it means 
we are dealing with layers of rocks or soil which are laid down as sediments often in sea and why do they change because of pressure heat chemical action which gets into these rocks that's why they change so one part of the rock strata means the layers of rocks moves along the plane of fracture where it can be upwards or downwards relative to the other parts the plane of fracture the plane of fracture is called fault the plane of fracture is called fault faulting results in the formation of block mountains and rift valleys so when there is tension tensional force bring in brings in rift faults or rift valleys and block mountains i hope i'm clear with this that's the reason i have gone very slow with the first topic wherein you all need to understand the movements how they are related they come into which category and slow movements what are they i have kept on repeating the terms as well as the concepts time and again faulting results in the formation of block mountains and rift valleys which is due to the tensional force compressional forces different now folding over here you all can see folding means bending of rock layers due to pressure they are bending they have not broken faulting in faulting what happens the breaking of rock layers by transform fault line they break into fractures or ruptures these are called breaking this is called breaking so breaking leads to it also means fractures and ruptures the arrow shows where a fault line or earthquakes have moved the rock layers when an earthquake takes place we come to know how we can detect is through those fault lines when we find out there's a lot of science and research which goes into uh, where uh, how the earthquakes take place in certain places the reasoning all that so that's how we come to know why when we fall uh, when we find the fault lines now fault is fault block it means this is uh, more to add on to fault mountain it means fractured or cracked these mountains form when faults or crack in the earth force some blocks of rock and others down created by plate tectonics and stress in the earth's crust bedrock a very hard mineral are broken up into blocks and rise to the surface a part of the fault that rises is called the hanging wall now they are also known as hanging walls or the part that sinks are called foot wall this part which rises is hanging the part that sinks is called foot wall also there are two different types of fault mountains the faults that go vertical up and down in direction are dip slips the horizontal which go side to side are called strike slips this is add on to your short notes for fault mountains if you all want to fold and fault mountains fold mountains fault technical term fault block which means fractured or cracked are mountains that are spaced between each other and are like jigsaw puzzle fault block mountains what are the, these mountains form when faults or cracks in the earth's crust force some material now the block and block mountains i am adding on to more information i will create another uh, slide specially for i'll be talking about the block mountains and rift valleys we'll collect all this information and we'll talk about block mountains and rift valleys in little bit of detailing these mountains form when faults or cracks in the earth's crust force some materials or blocks or rock up and others down instead of earth folding over the earth's crust fractures means it pulls apart it breaks it ruptures it cracks it breaks up into blocks that's why it is termed as block mountain sometimes these blocks or rock move up and down so when they move up and down what happens you all know what are they called i mean they when they move up and down 
what is it called up and down they are called dip slips and the horizontal side are called strike slips and as they move apart and blocks of rock end up being stacked on one and other often fault block mountains have a steep front side and a sloping back side sierra nevada mountains in north america the harz mountains in germany block mountains is a part of a uh, fault mountain now when we look at this uh, this is basically figure types of faults also as we did types of faults now types of faults we are going to understand figure 1.6 if you look at diagram a we'll understand and related to the characteristics normal fault it results when a portion of land slides down along the fault plane and when the exposed when the exposed portion of the plane faces the sky look at it and related to the characteristics b look at the arrows look at the diagram it results when a portion of the land is thrown upward this is moving upwards it's thrown upwards relative to the other side of the land in such situation the plan fault plane faces the ground the third type what is happening over here tear fault what is it at times the rock strata on either side the layers of rocks on either sides of the fault plane do not have vertical displacement is there any vertical displacement in this figure can you all see that there is no vertical displacement so this is called tear fault instead movement occurs along the plane in horizontal direction you all can see there's movement happening look at the arrows which are there in black it happens in the horizontal direction so there is no vertical displacement in tear fault and it occurs in horizontal direction in b when a portion of the land is thrown upward to the other side there is upward direction and the fault line comes down look at the black arrows which have been made for you it faces the ground and in a what happens it's normal when it faces the sky it results when a portion of land slides down along the fault plane and when the exposed portion of the plane faces the sky the last one what we are going to do is the d side look at this figure when the portion of the land on one side of the fault plane gets detached there is a detachment happening look at it over here in figure d the angle it gets detached and moves over land on the other side the angle of fault plane is generally low less than 45 degrees so when is a thrust fault occurring or what is what do you mean by thrust fault thrust fault means when then the fault plane is at an angle which is less than 45 degree as well as it gets detached and moves over land it moves over land and it gets detached so all what we have completed till now is we've covered up slow mountains a uh, slow sorry slow movements the types of movements the forces folding types of folds parts of folds we got ourselves introduced to faulting uh, spoke about the different types of faults that is normal fault reverse fault tear fault and thrust fault there are four types of faults uh, you all need to know all these Uh, you never know they can be asked for your exams so you all need to be well versed with it the last section what we are going to do under what remains under slow mountains is the block mountains and the rift valleys which are formed due to the faulting process so and the tensional forces so i'll be talking about block mine mountains in my next class and then we we'll move on to rift valley that puts an end to slow mountains so the
topics all under slow mountains get over so these were the folds what we learnt the symmetrical asymmetrical folds um, where one limb becomes steeper than the other recumbent one fold is pushed over by the other side on the other side and it was also called an overfold overthrust fold this is not there in your textbook but you all can take it as uh, knowledge excessive folding of fractures formed the characteristics of fold mountains i have discussed with you all where i spoke in detail about anticlines and synclines valleys are syncline and anticlines become the peaks where are these fold mountains formed in which region you will see lot of glacial activities and volcanoes and earthquakes happening there are waterfalls and swift flowing rivers so these are the characteristics of fold mountains types of folds and overturn mountains overturn folds what i have spoken about they limp the limbs dip in the same direction the different this was concluded in this uh, section as well as a uh, lot of detailing wherein the characteristics were given to you all and we could relate to them then we came back to faulting we try to know understand what faulting is exactly faulting the keywords what you can associate with it is uh, the ruptures the cracks the fractures or fissures are all the, or they all lead to faulting there is no uh, bending in faulting it only breaks that's why these uh, words are given to it and what exactly fracture means what do they form faulting results in the formation of block mountains and rift valleys rock strata i had already explained because this word is used uh, quite often in our books as well as uh, how do they break and uh, what are the forces which make them break this was something for easy identification folding is bending faulting is breaking and different more words which can be associated with folding and faulting more information wherein you all can write about your short notes in faults and uh, how uh, this is like the when the fault rises it is called hanging wall when the fault dips or sinks it is called foot wall then there are two types of fall mountains as i said when they go in vertical up and down direction it is dip slips and horizontal this is not there in your textbook this is an add on to your knowledge horizontal side to side ones are strike slips then what are fall the uh, mountains i told you all repeated again and again fractured or cracked and uh, it is like it is compared to a jigsaw puzzle block mountains information was given which i'll be going to much more in detail in the next class uh, types of falls were spoken to you all lastly uh, before uh, we ended up with folding and faulting the types uh, normal falls where the exposed portion of plane faces the sky b uh, reverse fault the land is thrown upward and the fault plane faces the ground c is there is no what vertical displacement there is uh, the plane goes along in the horizontal direction and lastly what i spoke to you all about was d which means the thrust fault where the portion of land on one side of the fault plane gets detached and it is generally uh, at an angle or the fault plane is at an angle which is lower or less than 45 degrees so it sums it up and uh, we will go to block mountains next